Hello guys and welcome back to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. And today we're going to be watching Lethal Weapon. This is an action yes. movie from the 80s. We've been watching a bunch of these and enjoyed them quite a bit. And a lot of you guys recommended this movie in our Die Hard reaction, which we really, really, <laughs> really enjoyed. Part three is coming soon, guys, just so you know. We've been hearing a lot of good things about this one. Did you know that there's also a debate as to whether or not this one is a Christmas movie? Deja vu all over again. Deja vu all over again. <laughs> again, like we did with Die Hard, we're going to settle that debate, I assume. <laughs> we shall see. I'm actually really pumped about this. Uh, we watched Signs not too long ago, so Mel Gibson is in this, and, you know, we love his performances. And uh, Danny Glover is also in this. I'm super pumped because I loved his performance in Predator 2. He was so good oh, he in was that. fantastic. Oh my goodness. I have no idea what to expect for this one. Obviously, I just know it's the 80s. Mel Gibson, Danny Glover. So action flick. Action flick. We're excited. <laughs> We're pumped. Ready to go, guys. If you yeah. want to check out the full length reaction, that's going to be available on Patreon. And if you want to watch these reactions early, hit the join button and become a member of our YouTube channel. Thank you so much, guys, for the support and for watching us. And we'll catch you guys after the movie. I mean, it starts with Jingle it's Bells. It's a Christmas movie. <laughs> I think it's subtle already. This is such a good mood song. We're in that vibe already. <laughs> You're fully in the Christmas spirit. I love oh you. Oh my God. I so love much. That. <laughs> I actually like this Christmas song. Nothing beats, of course, uh, the iconic All I Want for Christmas oh. is you. <laughs> Time for her to get her paycheck. Oh, her man. Yearly Those stack residuals, of royalties. man. Yep. <laughs> Eric Clapton? What? Okay. Give me some nice score in this. Yeah. Nice shot, too. Do you Very realize? Very nice, like yeah. Went from an aerial shot to... That's the way I like my Christmas movies to start. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Titties! <laughs> Oh, you cannot fly. I don't like where this is going. Get back in your room. Please get back. Gives you the vertigo, man. It really does. No, oh, shit. no, 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 no. We don't do that here. No. Yeah. No way. bad oh. <sighs> damn that's dark that's so messed up dude hey, there he is. damn as he's in the bathtub y'all come on <laughs> That's a great shot. We get to see the family through the mirror. Aww. <laughs> Aww, they're so cute. Big five -o. <laughs> Ooh, the big 50. You know what? Your beard's getting gray. Kind of makes you look old. But I mean, that's all right, though, because I still love you. <laughs> He's like, she still loves right. you. I'm getting old, man. Oh, man. Oh, he did not like that one bit. Uh, <laughs> like the reminder. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you look great, man. Come on. Yeah, he looks fantastic. Rock it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and we see the contrasting way of living, right? Yeah, different lifestyles <laughs> for sure. Immediately. I mean, it's five o'clock somewhere, right? <laughs> True that. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, hey, that's Oh, mine now. <laughs> Get that bacon, man. Don't step in the egg. Where's my thinking? I should have checked the fourth egg. I know. What the hell's going on, man? Come, Come on. on. <laughs> Michael Hotsacker. I haven't talked to him in 12. Yeah. Ooh, oh, it's been a so, minute. Yeah. How come I never heard of Michael Hunt Stacker? Uh, I just never talked about him, huh? Vietnam buddy? Uh, yeah. Oh. Vietnam buddy. Got it. So, okay, okay. I already established that he went to Vietnam. Mm hmm. Daddy, this is my New Year's Eve dress. Oh, that's a cute dress. Oh, thanks. <laughs> birthday. They grow up so fast, don't they? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> He's like, <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Can time slow down just a bit? I uh, know. <laughs> oh, we got a uh, hooker. Would you please tell these bozos to lay off, please? Hey, hey you bozos lay off. <laughs> I 
Dixie was walking by, saw the whole thing. You got a statement from us in a home. Pete, you know how it is. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All dressed up with no one to blow. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, wow. That's funny. That's horrible. Parents. What, what was the name? Hunsecker. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. parents. Oh, parents. Michael and Claire. Claire. Oh. Wow. oh. Right, find out about it. Who, who's, who's paying the bills? That'll take some looking into. So look. Yeah, this just got personal. Yeah. He knew his her dad. <laughs> My guy. Oh, man. <laughs> you want it all? Yep. I'll give you the best tree I got in a lot for nothing. Throw it in there. A hundred. What, that much? Hey, you said you liked it. That's a fair price. A hundred K. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Hey, what the f Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, hey. Shit, 100,000. Yeah. Yeah. But look, I'll tell you what, I got a better idea. I take the whole stash off your hands for free, and you assholes can go oh. to jail. Hey. What do you say? Oh, 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 plot oh, twist. Damn. Oh, you sure are a crazy son of a bitch. You <laughs> 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 can go crazy? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you want to see crazy? I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, he's. Oh, yeah. He means yeah. business. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Nice moves. Damn. Oh, that was a sting operation? Stay! Stay! Give me a gun, Toby! Ah! Hey, shoot him! Drop it, prick! He doesn't care, he's like, shoot him. Like, just shoot him, dude. <laughs> Somebody shoot this prick! Freeze! Shoot him! Yes! Shoot him! Yes! <laughs> he's like, shoot this guy. <laughs> he's nuts. He is nuts, yeah. Burn you! Shoot him! 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 Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this guy already. Oh, he dude. does not care. Oh, he's so unhinged. I love this. Eye on life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. He's so intense, man. He is so he intense. took charge of that situation quick. Saw how fast he was, how he rolled over. I was like, oh, I know, whoa, dude. Whoa. Hell yeah. Nice. Can you imagine? Then you just go home after all that. Like nothing I happened. Know. It's a crazy life. Uh, I must suck being yeah. lonely during those times, man. Oh. <sighs> yeah, that's rough, man. See, this is what I mean. I love that we get to see these vulnerabilities yes. in action movies from back in the day. It adds so much more depth to the character. It makes them more interesting, you know? Don't do it, man. No. Oh, man. You can just see how far he's gone. Yeah. Please, somebody interrupt him, please. Come on, man. Damn, the tension in this is great, too. Guy just needs a big hug, man. I know. <laughs> Damn, what a roller coaster of a movie. It already has me in my feels. <laughs> I know. That's the thing, though. Oh, man. I'll see you much later. Much later. He's trying to hold on. Yeah. Live to fight another day. May I remind you that his wife of 11 years was recently killed in a car accident. He's a tough bastard, all right? He's on the edge, sir. She's not wrong. Uh -huh. He's a bit <laughs> extreme. We can't wait, And then if wait, he offs sir. himself, then we'll know I was wrong. Oh, come on. That's not what? a good... <laughs> I don't know if that's the best way to go about that. Just wait until he actually dies to confirm <laughs> the, the theory. What the hell? He does not give a crap. The guys in the 80s aren't tough. They're sensitive people. They show their emotions <laughs> around women and shit like that. Actually? <laughs> I love that this dialogue has not changed. People still say this now about the 80s. Or about people now. First off, corner found evidence you use barbiturates. Brilliant detective. Uh. There were pills all over the place. <laughs> 
Yes. Every capsule was loaded with drain cleaner. If she hadn't jumped, she would have been dead inside 15 minutes. Oh, wow. Drain cleaner. B is, I'm supposed to tell you you're breaking in a new partner in on this. Partner again? Yeah, some cat he's on loan from dope. Real burnout. On the ragged edge. Nice. Oh, no way. <laughs> yes. Gun! Gun! Oh, of course he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> what a way to meet. That's one way to meet your partner. Oh, no. I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> I already know the combo of these two is going to be excellent. I know. I heard about the little stunt yesterday. Pretty heroic. Well, the whole shoot me thing now has a lot more context. Mm hmm. That's some serious shit you carry. Nine millimeter Beretta. Oh, it's a Beretta. Yeah. Like Robocop. <laughs> yes. What you got in there? Four inch Smith. Okay. Six shooter, huh? A lot of old timers carry those. <laughs> Stop Come on, it with the man. <laughs> He's just trying to move past it. Me into martial arts, Tai Chi, and all that uh, killer stuff. I suppose we have to register you as a lethal weapon. <laughs> ah. ah, roll credits, but I'm. Everybody thinks I'm suicidal, in which case I'm fucked and nobody wants to work with me. Or they think I'm faking to draw a psycho pension, in which case I'm fucked and nobody wants to work with me. <laughs> yes, either yeah. way. I don't want to work with you. Ain't got no choice. Looks like we both are fucked. Terrific. Well, see, you already have common ground, guys. Yeah, exactly. We can work through this. <laughs> yeah, little we can by do little. this. Totally. God hates me. That's what it is. Hate him back. It works for me. <laughs> <laughs> Such a witty dialogue. I was just going to say. I just, love it. This is so good, it's man. It's that bam bam comedy. I know. I love it. The cinematography is really good too. The it's, way we have these shots, lower sit camera. Yeah. Hey, I'm flying. Where the hell did you get him? Psychos are us. <laughs> my people are loyal, Mr. Mendez. They are loyal to me. Do you smoke? My, my lighter? Your lighter! Yeah, okay. I, yeah, right here. I mean, he's intense. This guy's sweating yes. bullets over here. <laughs> oh, hey, man. Mr. Joshua, your left arm, please. Oh, is he going to prove what? his loyalty? No way. Excuse me? You know what I'm saying? What Damn. the hell? Guys, man. You guys are fucking crazy, man. Come uh, on. Dude, fucking hell, man. See? Have Indo look at that, Mr. Joshua. Yes, sir. Oh, he hates M you for putting him through that. Mr. Joshua, you need a better boss. Have the money ready and no tricks. If you try anything, you'll have to talk to Mr. Joshua. <laughs> Yeah, right. Got Joshua. it. Yeah, right. I got you. Who's already not <laughs> liking you that much, <laughs> by the looks of it. Showed that Amanda was poisoned. Even if she hadn't jumped, she'd still be dead. She was murdered. It's like opening that wound all over again. I know. A different context now. How do you handle information like that? What do you do with it? I thought maybe you could get her off. She was into, she was making uh, videotapes. Uh, like videotapes? Yeah. yeah. That sucks, man. He just wanted to help her daughter out. Yeah. His daughter out. You owe me, Roger. Remember? Something that happened back in Vietnam? Huh. Mike, I'm a police officer. I don't man. give a shit. You're a police officer, Roger. I know you're a fucking police officer. Kill them! Just kill them! Oh, great performance from the guy, I too. Know, the rage from and everyone. The sadness. What? You owe me. Gotta go, man. I wonder what happened, because he generally seems like he he knows that he owes him big time. Yeah. He seems like he really is indebted to that man. The Grand Valley saved my life. Took a bayonet in the lungs. Oh, that was oh. nice <laughs> That was nice of him. He was supposed to be suicidal, remember? I'll drive. Anybody a drive get in the car. He's suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. Oh, my Some God. Some crazy drivers out there. 3 William 56 on roof. God, I love this job. All right, so exciting. <laughs> Charismatic. <laughs> Just oh. oozing charisma, man. Both this is of these fantastic. Dudes, they're awesome. Also, piggybacking off of what you were saying earlier about the performances, they're so layered. Like, there's grief, but there's also the anger that usually comes with it and all other really complicated feelings. All of these actors so far have done an amazing job, man. All right, people. Can I get you to move, please? Are you qualified to talk to jumpers? I've done it before. Okay, you're elected. <laughs> No guns, no jujitsu, just bring him down. Roger. What? Uh, ten four. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, should I trust this guy? I mean, they got to start trusting each other as partners, right? So I think this is a good yeah. exercise to see how this guy handled things.
That was such a cool shot. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh. Look, uh, Stay there. Take it easy. No, no, I'm jumping. Christ, I'm take jumping. it easy. I don't like this any better than you do. I'm scared too, okay? Gotta be very gentle now. I know. Please be careful. Fuck. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand out here on the ledge with you. No, don't go. Not out on the ledge. He's probably thinking, is he gonna jump too? Mm. A lot of people have got problems, especially during the silly season like now. You know shit! No, you're wrong, pal. You're wrong. Uh, actually. <laughs> He's right there with you, man. Come on. So don't, don't come near me! Come on, give me a break. Well, your guy, my boss is down there and he's watching me, so you <laughs> <laughs> I love the honesty, man. Yeah. I promise I'll just talk to you. Okay, all right. Here you go. Okay. Great job so far, yeah. Yeah, some rapport. Yeah. Come on, take it. Yeah, we're gonna take our time and both die of cancer. <laughs> <laughs> he, oh my God, the dark humor. <laughs> it's so funny. He's just done. So funny. Oh! Oh, it's smooth. Damn, that's ballsy though. Smart. Do you really want to jump? Do you want to test him? But I want to do it. I want to do it. What do you mean? No, 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 no! Oh shit! What the? Wait! Ah. Okay. They're smart. They're evil for not showing us that. I know. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> we were missing context. Help, help me! Help me, no! <laughs> Get me away from this guy! Kill me. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing. Look at him. <gasps> Don't tempt this guy. You touch me! Hey, what the fuck you just do? Oh, well, I control the jump! You wanted him down, he's down! <laughs> I mean... He is so pissed off. He he's like, so I gotta keep mad. an eye on this guy. I gotta babysit him now. I'm loving these tracking shots. Yeah. Great. He has such a give him hell attitude. Do you want to hear that sometimes I think about eating a bullet? Every single day I wake up and I think of a reason not to do it every single day. Oh, wow, what a... Yeah. The delivery in this is great. Don't nibble on the barrel, pull a trigger, put it in your mouth. Bullet might go through your, your ear and not kill you. Yeah, under the chin. Guys, this is not helping anything. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, he's not messing around. You really are crazy. He's not, don't call him that. Yeah. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go and get something to eat. I love yeah. how complex these characters are. You can, I know. It, it gets you emotional. You can hear the pain in his voice when he says that every freaking day he thinks about yeah. doing this. Please. He's hurting. He's in pain. There's something eating away at this guy. And for the other guy, for him, it's really hard. You can see that he was so scared that he was going to lose this guy right in front of him. But he's also really angry. You hungry? No, I'm not hungry. <laughs> no, I'll drive. All right. You get in that side. You drive. No. He's like, just sit down and eat, man. Leave I me know. alone. I'm done with you for the day. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's horrible. Why are you talking to me anyway? I'm a dead man. Hey, fuck you, you're looking at a dead man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, watch the road. Don't worry. You know, I was driving before you were itching your daddy's pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I've been doing this for a long time, man. Yep. I didn't know that it was your birthday today. I'm sin sincerely happy birthday, man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's like, no, I mean it, I promise. <laughs> Seriously. Maybe we'll stay alive long enough for me to buy you a present. Oh, that's sweet. Don't thank me now. I mean, it's, it's, it's the least I can do after all the kindness that you've shown me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, is he being sarcastic right now? Get the door. Hey. <laughs> Such a good score, man. I love the vibes in this, man. <laughs> Great. Isn't that sweet? I'm thinking probable cause. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's probable cause. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, Why? wow. Why? Come on, hands in front of you. Face down. Oh, my leg, man. That was a good shot. I know. What aim? <laughs> he just hiccuped them to each other like that? That's <laughs> hilarious. See how easy that was? Boom. Still alive. No killing. No killing. Right. Yeah, right. Now I'm happy. Okay, so he's very by the books. Yeah. He likes doing his job and he likes doing it well. <laughs> he 
He's got a gun! Oh shit. Oh! Oh! oh. Well, there goes that. You were saying? Oh, Christ. It was too easy. They're gonna have to untangle him from that whole situation now. That. Oh no. Oh, what a mess. Get him out! Come on! Oh, he looks like he's already... Yeah, that's it. Yeah, he's gone. <sighs> to be fair, he did do it to protect him, though. Guy was about to shoot yeah. him, so... He had to react. Should have probably checked him for weapons, you know? I'm sorry about all that shit I said out there. Aww. You saved my life. Thank you. There you he go. Did. Exactly. Happy birthday. <laughs> That's your present. I bet that hurt to say. <laughs> you never know. I'm loving these two together. Me too. They're giving such honest performance, like such an honest performance that you buy. They're such different people, but you can see how it can work, you know? Yeah. I'm glad you're home at a sensible hour. Well, I try to be a sensible dad. <laughs> Come on, girl. The door shut? Yeah, close the door. That'd be good. Hello, Nick. Hey, Dad. Get your legs off the arm of the couch. <laughs> this is exactly what Martin needs. He needs some, you know, yeah. people around him. Some of that hominess, you know, that coziness. Yeah, the liveliness that comes with this, you know? Yeah. My new Nature. partner, Martin Rich. Nice Martin's Nature. gonna join us for dinner. Toast okay with you? What's for dinner? Ooh, Rose sounds excellent. Ooh. For dinner. <laughs> he could use a good meal, too. I was a kid, I used to go spear fishing with a snorkel. Oh boy. Oh no. Girl, get your shit together. <laughs> Roger's not gonna like that. He's like, who are you looking at? That's so embarrassing. Mr. Riggs, would you like that tart? Thank you, yeah. Call me Martin. Martin. Uh, oh my god. Sit down. He's like, it's Mr. Riggs for you, okay? <laughs> now, get your shit together. <laughs> my name is Terry. I'm no fairy. My sister's oh, oh. Sherry. Hey. She's in love with this guy named Mary. Mary. <laughs> Put her on blast. Oh my god. My name is Roger, and I need to be Roger, and a suit on the Roger. Aww. The family dynamic in this is done in yeah. such a great way. It's excellent. It feels so fluid. It's Everyone's natural. interactions with each other. He pitches off the balcony into the suite by and by. That's why he came at us with a shotgun this afternoon. It's just a little too easy, you know. It's just too neat. I agree. There's something yeah. more to this. You got a hell of a nice family there. Thank you. No. Oh. Bullshit, but thanks anyway. Nah, he means it. He needed yeah. he needed that. You can tell. You don't trust me at all, do you? You make it through the mob without killing anybody, especially me or, or yourself. <laughs> then I'll start trusting you. Sounds fair. Fair enough. <laughs> See, they're a great team already. When I was 19, I did a guy in Laos from a thousand yards out. A rifle shot in high wind. Even 10 guys in the world could have made that shot. Wow. Oh, holy crap. Okay. It's the only thing I was ever good at. I'll see you tomorrow. No. Mm -hmm. Nah, man, come on. I mean, I'm sure that talent is going to come in handy, but... Yes. You really like my wife's cooking? <laughs> Say yes. Say yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he's honest. Yeah. He's not, you know, he doesn't bullshit around. I like that. The way they're building these relationships, it just works, man. The, yeah. These intimate conversations and the way that they develop them, very yeah. natural, you know? They're moving forward bit by bit. Oh, yeah. She was known for taping herself, mm -hmm. right? So this is one of those tapes. Imagine the wife walks in. Oh, no, honey, it's evidence. I promise. Yeah. I can explain. On your birthday, too? Yeah, I promise is not a gift. Wake up, honey. Hey. Morning, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. We got to get up and catch bad guys okay, today. Okay, okay, okay. I'll be real shower. policeman. I get a shower. Yeah. Get a shower. <laughs> He's yes. like, get out of bed, man. Come on. It's time to Give go. Give him a second. Wilshire Vice says Century Dixie. City is not a usual Dixie. turf. Dixie. My name is Dixie. Give, give me that cup. <laughs> I'm that kind of person. I need like a solid 15 minutes to kind of like come back into society after I woke up. I'm like, I need time, guys. Let you gotta, me be for a little. Yeah, you got to rev your engines for a yeah. little bit, you know? So she grabs the nearest flat foot she can find and she says, officer, officer, I saw the whole thing. 
That's a solid theory. She was covering herself, yeah. Yeah, that, that would make sense. Fucking thin. That's very thin. Uh, what the hell? Thin's my middle name. Yeah, your wife's <laughs> cooking. I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Is it that bad? Was it that bad, though? I get you invited to Christmas dinner. Yeah. My luck's changing for the better every day. <laughs> wow, he doubled down. <laughs> That's great. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Wow. Yo. She is an excellent shot. Headshot, 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 and right in the belly. Right in the chest. Just warming up, just warming up. You got this. Show this kid how it's done. Yeah, <laughs> show him the experience, man. Yeah, get that neck stretch, you know? Yeah, you got posture. it, you know? <laughs> mm, you know? Ceasefire on number seven. Downrange target. Hey, hey Oh. Ooh. Okay, step aside, old man. Oh boy. I mean, to be fair, like, I don't think it's really fair competition considering that. I mean, eyesight know, and everything, yeah. you know, and he's like an amazing shot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's, oh, poorly, he's just all the way back. <laughs> Damn, he's just asking for it now. Damn, that's far. Jeez, all the way to the back? All right, let's see. He's just humming. He's so I relaxed. Know. He knows he's got it. I know it's a little thing to pay attention to, but I love the the way that they fire the weapons, how realistic that looked. Yeah. Like the kickback the and kick everything. Back, yeah. yeah. No. He drew a way, smiley bro. face. Just yeah, I mean. You're still good though. You're not bad. They're just, both awesome. It's just that yes. one is incredibly <laughs> talented at it. We're going over here to have breakfast. You're gonna have <laughs> Damn. They already know These, what's up. Like I said, Finn. Probably nothing. Oh! Oh, wow. Oh, no. Someone's covering some shit up here. Yeah, this is way oh. more complex than we thought. And they're just taking care of Dixie. The timing is very interesting indeed. Goddamn artwork. Well, I'm glad you like it. No, you don't get it. This is real pro stuff. I haven't seen anything like this since the war. Mmm, okay. To hire Merc to use the exact same setup. Mercury switches. Kaplui, that's hippie Gosh. shit. No, that tells you a lot about the perpetrator. Because that kind of skill set, it narrows it down significantly. I love how they give us all this information. Yeah. And it comes across naturally. I hate it when it feels like an expo dump and it's not interesting, you know? Yeah. When it goes hand in hand with a narrative, excellent. Yeah. Hi, my name is Detective Murtaugh. Don't tell me your name was going to put you in jail. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not going to put you in jail. Come on, what's your name? No. Don't tell me name. Martin is so entertained. <laughs> He's I in know. the back just so smirking. Do you kill people? No, if some guy's hurting someone, I try to shoot him in the leg or something. <laughs> or something. <laughs> the way he just looks at him like, see? True. Some ice cream. Uh, uh, ice, ice cream? cream. Yes. Yeah, like ice cream. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ice cream. Ice yeah. cream. You gotta bribe them with something sweet, you know? Yeah. Now tell me what he looks like. Was he white? Mm-hmm. Oh, he was white. Okay. What color was his hair? Was it brown? Blonde. Mm -hmm. Blonde. Okay. Well, we got a closer description, more than we had before. But painted. Mm -hmm. Painted. Oh. Uh, uh, tattoo. It was that. I saw it good. This is it. I remember. Oh. So they are dealing with somebody that was military. Yeah, looks like it. That has to be the commonality, right? Yeah, it has to be. Roger, that's a special forces tattoo. There, there you, you go. go. Yeah. Mercury switches. It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, Martin wants special forces too. Oh yeah, man. What the hell have we gotten into here? Yeah. Some complicated ass shit. That's what he guys got into. You can tell by his reaction. He's just like, yeah, this is gonna go deeper than we thought. Well, I love how we're learning so much about Martin's past by yeah. encountering other people that mm -hmm. resemble his skills. Your daughter wasn't killed because of something she was into. She was killed because of something you're into. Oh. Stop me if I'm wrong. It was a way of hurting oh, him. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. You were going to spill your guts so they kill your daughter. They paid off a hooker to poison your little girl. Talk to me. For my sake, Roger, I've got another daughter. Yeah, I was going to say. Well, at least he opened up now. Mm-hmm. I ended up working with a group called Air America. I was with a special unit called Shadow Company. Mercs trained killers. The Shadow Company? Damn. Yeah. A couple of years ago, Shadow Company got together again. And we've been bringing it in ever since. Bringing in what? Heroin. Uh, 
They're in the Whoa. business. Of course. You were getting cold feet. Why did they kill Amanda? Why not just kill you? My company, the bank, it's a perfect front. It makes everything look great on the tax report. Got it. Okay. And so it was just to keep pushing back into line, you know, make him cooperative again. Keep him in check. Mm -hmm. I want to know about your next shipment. How many people you got working for I you? I can't tell you that. I want to know your sources Roger, abroad. Can't. You got to help him out somehow. Yeah. You people I can't all protect her. I am in this too me. deep, Roger. <laughs> I get his point of view too. He's just trying to keep his other daughter alive. Oh, oh wait, what? Whoa! <gasps> no way! No way, dude! Wow! Just like that. Wow! They just—they have to have eyes everywhere. You got off easy, son of a bitch. Come on! Come on! That was an excellent shot. That, that helicopter, really that cool. stunt, wow. <laughs> Are they dead? No, sir, I missed the opportunity. Joshua, I think it's time we turned up the heat. Come on home. Turn up this the heat? This is not going to be good. I'm scared for Roger, man. He's got a family. I know. You know, he's got a lot of people they can hurt. Dude, I was just thinking about that. Oh, a police officer. Don't worry, I'm not going to drag your ass to the jail. <laughs> oh. Oh, what the hell? Oh, oh wow. Actually, what the hell? Out of nowhere. He got hit bad. Two inches lower, I would have been a falsetto for life. Come on, let's go. Two inches lower, I That's hilarious. Great writing. We're told we got a body for you, male, Caucasian, age 17. You know that was good. to you, third in ocean, about two blocks from your house. Uh. Two blocks from your house? Probably blonde with uh, big dimples. I you know that, Sarge. Over. Hey, get in here. What's the matter? What? Got trouble. <laughs> Who can you trust? What? I would be so worried for my family, man. This goes way too deep. Yeah. Very nice camera movement. What now? A bastard's got my daughter. Oh. What? Oh, it's hella personal now. What is it? N nothing. What is it? Nothing. They don't know. You have to tell her. She needs to know. How do you break down that news, man? <laughs> Ransom call? Has to be. Murta. You have a very beautiful daughter. If I were you, I'd stick by the phone to find out where to meet us. You can see the worry in his eyes. Bastards took my baby. Jeez, man. It's a good thing that Martin is a ghost, essentially, right now. They don't know. Right. They're going to have to take advantage of that fully. 100%. Because they won't see him coming. Exactly. Rich is out of the picture. Okay. I want Murta taken alive. He may not talk. We have his little girl. He'll talk. Yeah. They know that's his biggest weakness. Wow, man. Oh, I love that lighting. God, it's it's great. great. You know they're going to kill her, don't you? Yes. You're going to have to take her away from them. Yes. We do this my way. You shoot to kill. We're going to get bloody on this one, Roger. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are going to be in trouble. Are you really crazy? Or are you as good as you say you are? You're going to have to trust me. I don't know, man. I trust him. <laughs> it's funny that he, he said that they were going to be covered in blood when they're tinted with the red light. It's great visual storytelling right there. Just want to know what Huntsacker told you. Dry Lake, Victorville, sunrise tomorrow. I'm loving the blending of genres in this. It's like a modernized noir buddy yeah. cop, like you said. Holiday themed film. <laughs> Holiday adjacent. Yeah, I, I love it. There's so many multiple things happening. They weave in those genres so yeah. well. And they know how to transcend from one to the other and then back again really well. Look at this. This is <laughs> great. Dropped him off. Oh, He's sniper? got his rifle. Yeah. Yes. Sniper moment. All right. He's going to get that, that shot. I love how you can just see the scale of it, too. Yeah. Like this is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> like, they made sure these two guys are alone. We're, well, this guy, mm -hmm. technically. Just him. Damn, that's a real copter. That's a real Damn, shot. Damn, yeah. 
That's a really close shot to it, too. See, Damn. they don't do these things anymore. They don't go that extra mile. No. And we definitely have the resources to just do it. I mean, we have drones nowadays that can do exactly what this and more. <laughs> great. It's so great that it's hazy. Just like his future, right? Yeah. Uncertain. I would be so intimidated, man. I'd be shitting oh, my man. pants. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> my dog! Show me my daughter! Let me see her! Then I come quietly. Daddy? Okay, she's 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 all, she's all right. <sighs> okay, so that's step one. Take your hands out of your pocket. Sure thing, pal. It's alive. Ooh, Ooh yeah. If she's gonna die, she's gonna die with me, my way, not yours. Ah, you got him, I man. I don't know, man. He seems pretty committed to that. Come on, goddamn it, Roger, get out of the way. Move to your left. Come on. Don't be foolish. Look at the hardware. Your left. Move your left. This is so tense. Yeah, if you come closer, and we all die. Oh! Oh! Damn, how shit is your aim, bro? It's a smoker. Ah! Ah! Smart. Smart of the plan. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. Damn it, it's rigged. Yeah. Oh. Now they got cover. They don't have his ability. Damn. I got the hell out of there. There you go. Okay. That's a perfect head shot right there. Come on. You got this. <gasps> oh, shit. What the fuck is this? I got rigs. Yes, sir. He's got rigs. Go get the girl. The girl. Hopefully oh. she got enough time, but that's a copter, man. Oh, 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 oh. Get away from that car. If GTA has taught us anything, that thing is gonna explode soon. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Throw your weapon down. Put your hands behind your head. Shit, man. Their plan almost worked. We've heard of each other. Yep. It'll almost be a shame when I nail you. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Not quite. I love how calm Martin is yeah. in this situation. Oh, they're crushing the car? Swerve oh, a little. Man, I know. Use dude. your maneuvers. Zigzag. I don't know. Brake, accelerate, brake. I don't know. <laughs> Bro, what do you mean? What are you doing? Oh, come on. That's such bullshit, though. She could have definitely zigzagged her way she out of totally that one. She did have, not like, have to. I mean, the, the helicopter would have still been behind her, you know? She could have made it to the city, I think. Yeah. Hopefully. Since we have Murtaugh, we don't really need you. But I believe in being thorough. Yeah, I've heard that about you. They're going to torture the hell out of him. It would be unfortunate, however, if we showed up to deliver our heroin and we're surrounded by 50 cops. That would be too bad. Yeah, it <laughs> would like be tragic. Catastrophic. <laughs> I wish I could believe you, but unfortunately, I don't. Now, if you would kindly tell me everything you know, uh -huh. I promise you I'll kill you quick. But oh, if you that don't, case. this is going to hurt, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, they're going to. Oh, they're going to electrocute him? Is that for yeah, that? Yeah, I think so. It's called electric shock treatment. Yeah. <sighs> oh. And he's wet, too. Fucking kill up both of you! Oh, yeah. He is. I, be I believe him. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Dude. They're roughing them up. Go spit. No. They roughed him up so badly, man. You know... Salt? What is that Salt? used for? Put it on the wounds? I don't know. You have to say it. <laughs> you know, shit, we're safe. He'd have told us. Nobody can take that. Fine. Hmm. Nobody but him, man. He's, uh, he'll take it to the extreme. <laughs> guys are playing so dirty, man. You better tell me what you know. Yeah, I'd be pissed yeah. off too. The impotence, you know, the fact that you can't do anything about it, that's what makes it's it so the worst, man. Oh nice. Oh. Yes. Get him, man. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 
Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Yo, that was so badass. I'm loving no, this guy. Martin dude, is badass, dude. Martin is awesome. That's a real good looking no, young no, woman you got no, there, no, Mr. Murtaugh. No. I don't like what you're implying there. He's, yeah, is so repulsive. There's no more heroes left in the world. So you say, fucking idiot. <laughs> In comes hero. <laughs> Perfect timing, huh? Oh! <laughs> hell yeah! <laughs> he just went. He's so pissed. <laughs> Pretty thin, huh? <laughs> Pretty thin. <laughs> Let's do what one shepherd said to the other shepherd. Oh, what? Let's get the flock out of here. Let's get the flock out of here. Oh, these jokes are great. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, he didn't damn. even give them a chance to <laughs> ask the question. He has no chill. Nope. I also love how they utilize the lighting, especially in this moment. The 80s aesthetic is just great. I love I all the know, neon signs man. and the lighting. It just adds so much contrast. It really does. The I neons, miss that, you know? Yeah. I never lived through it, but I just seeing these movies makes me feel nostalgic, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's like being nostalgic for a time you didn't get to experience yeah. for yourself, you know? I so feel much you fun. on that. Yeah. Nice. Come on, man. You need a vehicle. There's no way you're going to catch up with, uh, with him. I just need him to say one more time that he's too old for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Cut over the third street bridge. You'll be able to get ahead of him. It's taking a toll on him, man. He, yeah, he got hit bad. You know what I love about their arc is that he trusts him enough now. To go on his own? Yeah. <laughs> he's still running. You mess with the wrong guy. <laughs> He's Damn. coming for you, man. Okay. Yeah. Just a bit more, so... <sighs> Come on. I'm loving the score, too. It's so intense. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Damn, they're just trying to help, bro. <laughs> he comes out with a freaking assault rifle. I'll be, I'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, never mind. <laughs> Shit. You gotta catch up to the Audi, man. Come on. It was right there. Yeah, he almost had it. This guy got super lucky, man. So you get that noir type yeah. music with the, the dark darker alley. setting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Minimal lighting from the top, you know. Loving it, man. No way you live. No way. No way. You shoot to kill. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Headshot. He's doing it Martin's way. That's a bad crash. Yeah, that's not great. Come on, guys. You you ought to catch up with him now, right? I know. <laughs> He's right there. Just... <laughs> oh, oh, yep. Bye-bye, my friend. R.I.P. Pieces, actually. <laughs> Thing we gotta do is get you to the hospital, huh? Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go. Gotta take care of those wounds, man. Yeah, first things first. My home, man. Son of a bitch knows where I live. Well, I'll drive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, geez, I'll yeah. drive. Yeah. yeah, you can't let anybody of these, like, no. none of these guys go. No, absolutely not. You'll have a constant target on your back. Yeah. So you take care of every single one of them. I'm come loving on, this on, so much, man. I know. What a great time. Just the vibe and I the aesthetic. I already love these two. I, I freaking love them, dude. They're <laughs> so badass. And they work so well together. I love that they complement each other so well while b still being so different as individuals. Absolutely. It's great chemistry, too, between the actors. It's fantastic. Wow. 
I don't think he even cares if he gets caught now. It's just about hurting this guy. Yeah. What day is it? What day? The day of Christmas. <laughs> Not a fan, I see. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's cute. Crazy son of a bitch. Oh! oh! It's empty. I really hope this house is insured. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> What's up, bitch? <laughs> Beat him up, man. Yep. These nuts. <laughs> See, now he's checking for weapons. Yeah. Just in case. It's the character growth. What do you say, Jack? Would you like a shot at the title? Don't mind if I do. Oh, come uh, on. Yes, yes. He deserves that. Ooh. Beat him up. <laughs> oh. We, kick. we get to see those moves they were talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is personal. Gonna make sure this oh, hurts. Yeah, mess him up. I'll take full responsibility. Son of a bitch just killed two of our men. Well, he's taking full responsibility for uh -huh. him now. That's how much he trusts him. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah. Nice. Ah. Ooh. I love the oh. chaos of how this yeah. is shot too. This feels like the predecessor to uh, Paul Greengrass movies. <laughs> yeah, right. The, <laughs> the panning. Yeah, the handheld, the shaky cam, the fast-paced cuts, and the edit. Yeah. Hand to hand, baby, Ooh. let's do it. Oh. Mess them up! Come on! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> nice. This guy's got so much energy, man. I know, man. Unstoppable. Meanwhile, cops in the background like taking bets. <laughs> like, hey, you got a 20. <laughs> oh. Trying to drown him? Hey, let him take him! Come on, let me take him! No, please! No! No, he won't. Come on. He's gotta pay the get price. Get the upper hand. Let's go. He's got him right there. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you almost had him. Come on. Almost. Damn it. He's getting close. Oh, I okay. love that. Take two. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, so nice. What they did. Oh, I oh. love that. Nice camera cool. work, man. Yeah. You got permission now. Oh. Wow, character growth. He said it's not worth it. Wow. Yeah, he already won. Hell oh, yeah. That was a great fight sequence. Can we talk about that? I am so impressed by this movie in so many categories, man. <laughs> this is excellent. How you doing, Pete? Bro, this fucking oh, guy. No. This fucking guy. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. Yeah. Teamwork. You guys get, gave him a chance. True. You guys did the right thing. Yeah. He was just like not gonna so let it go. Epic, so man. That's slow mo. I got you. I got you, partner. Mm. You would consider some of those shots kind of cheesy nowadays, but I feel like it adds so much charm. It really to that does. Film. It really does. It's unique and it's aesthetic. Yeah, and it's also it. It was also how we did things back then. You know what I mean? I'm sure like 30 years from now, they're going to say that what we do now in 2023 yeah, exactly. is cheesy. Exactly. You know, you can't look at it as cheesy. You got to just take embrace it for what it. it is. Yeah. Embrace it. Have fun. Instead of judging. I love you. Aww. He's such a sweetheart, man. He is. I, I hope he doesn't feel lonely, at least now that he knows Roger. Yeah, he has some semblance of friendship. Friendship. You know? There's a brotherhood there mm -hmm. that's starting to form. Hi. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm going to be all right. Oh, good. You? Mm. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Ouch. 
Give this to your dad, okay? Uh, present for him. Tell him I won't be needing it anymore. It's a bullet. Aww. 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 Hey, you want to come in? We're, we're building. <laughs> that got me so emotional. No, I, well, I gotta go. Go where? You having a nice Christmas, though, okay? Okay, you too. Right, bye. Bye. <laughs> She's so in love with him. I know. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, bye. <laughs> oh, man. Rich, after all we've been through, if you think I'm going to eat the world's lousiest Christmas turkey by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you a little secret. I'm not crazy. I know. Oh, good. Mm. Let's eat. <laughs> Yay. Well, I, I think your daughter kind of likes me. <laughs> I think so. Hey. What was the friend? Oh, oh, his friend! His doggo. Yay! See, now it's complete. I don't think Burbank the cat's gonna like this. <laughs> oh boy, cats and dogs, man. <laughs> They're gonna have to learn how to get along like these yeah, two. Yeah, exactly. I'm too old for this. <laughs> yes! Yes! One last time! Oh man, Aww. what an excellent film. This was great, guys. This was wow. so much fun, Hell dude. Hell yes. What? Hell yes, man. This was such a great time. Like, it, it was, there was so many things here that just worked. And I even love how, like, how much emotion there was in this movie. Yeah. Like, for an, you know, when you think about, like, an 80s action flick, there's always this predisposition, I guess, to mm -hmm. think that it's just all, like, guns blazing and just pure action without no, you know, no real depth to a character like these iconic heroes, right? But I love that, you know, very similar to Die Hard. So I can see why people that watch that reaction, yeah. they were recommending this because... These two leads, they are very sensitive. You know, they're people that, that they care for their family or they had someone they cared about and they lost that. And they bring in this weight to the character. You know, Roger has, you know, he's a bit more mature. He's in his 50s. He's a veteran mm. in his field. He's gone through a lot. And I just love how they depicted that experience and that wisdom almost, right? He was very calm and collected. Mm -hmm. And he only really lost his shit when it came to like, oh, you're targeting my family now. Now things are getting personal. Mm -hmm. That's when you started to see him lose his cool and with uh martin it was very much the opposite right he's a guy who's very much he was carrying that weight from being in the special forces he had that experience with him but then he's he he was in a rough spot you know he just lost the person that he loved and struggling with whether or not he wanted to you know continue living and especially during these times man you can understand that's quite difficult you know so immediately uh i felt that connection with that character like i felt bad for him because you could tell mm -hmm. you know i think mel gibson did a great job at showing us such a layered character where he seems like trouble, right? At the beginning, like he, they introduce him. He seems like this macho dude, right? Like you introduce him, he's in an RV. He's freaking having beer for breakfast, freaking doing, you know, snow immediately as soon as we meet him. So it's such a smart way of introducing the character because you make all these assumptions. And then I think like right after that sequence, they show us who he really is. This sensitive guy that cares mm -hmm. for his wife that just passed, right? And that's lonely on Christmas Day. And this rough shell starts to crumble right in front mm -hmm. of us. And we get to see for the first time who Martin really is. And having that knowledge right at that beginning, after making false assumptions about him, right? It just carries through the entire movie. And you know who the, you know the guy's a good guy from the very start, but you can see where all the judgment comes from, from the exterior. Such a smart way of introducing these characters, man. Yeah, another smart way that they utilized is the juxtaposition between both of these men. When we first meet Roger, you know, he's in a bathtub, you know, yeah. you can tell that you know it's it's a nice bathroom that's pretty spacious you know he gets attacked by his family for his birthday you know cake and you get the joy and the raucousness and just everything that's great about you know having a large family that's how we first meet him when we jump into martin's life it's a completely different look feel everything it's an rv you know clearly he doesn't really give a shit obviously like yeah, you said he's, he's having beer for breakfast and he only has a little dog and that already helps really just build these characters. And in our minds, we make that certain associations that need to be made. So in order to progress the story, 
but also the characterization, we make those connections in our minds. What's really interesting is I felt like they kind of subverted my expectations because I, I expected them to go a little bit differently when it comes to the character arcs. But I really love how these two men actually learned a lot from each other. Yeah. And I really like that, you know, they made it very clear early on, you know, they put in their little Chekhov's rifle <laughs> in this case. <laughs> yeah. Right. Little clues here and there about their values, about the things that matter to them or things that haunt them things that drive them right and the way everything tied off so perfectly when you know we see martin do his whole sniping thing and then towards the end when he when his present because he mentioned in the beginning hopefully we'll live long enough for me to be able to get you a present and the present that he got him is basically him saying i'm gonna continue to fight the day yeah so i can keep on living i thought that was a very touching moment it was, it was very, very sweet. it got me emotional like just yeah. thinking about it because what he's saying in that moment is like it's because of you right he's yeah. gifting him the bullet it's thanks to yeah. you and everything that you've done that i'm gonna stick around and that's like such a beautiful like message especially it's you know it's christmas time and it's yeah. uh it's that promise right that, that this is a bond this is a brotherhood now you know i'm gonna stick by your side and we're gonna get you know we're gonna get shit done <laughs> yeah man i love that i i think i agree with you because you expect like roger's such a veteran and and wise dude that you're like he's the one that's gonna show martin the ropes but when the film goes ahead and is like no they actually both have a lot to learn from each other it just made it such a great because we already knew right we yeah. felt it i'm like the chemistry here that they set up with both of these characters and how they could interact together those interactions mm -hmm. I, I was like okay this movie's gonna be a blast from the start <laughs> we knew that it really was but the emotional journey that we go that we go through and the development with these characters go very differently than how i was expecting it as well i thought it was gonna be like roger just teaching all of his wisdom with martin and telling him no this is how you do things but in the end they kind of meet in the middle towards the end of the film where roger becomes a little bit like martin and Martin becomes a little bit like Roger and you can tell that they rub off of each other in such yeah. a great way. You see that character arc for both of them where Martin is not just going for the the, the killing shot. You know, yeah. he's not going for that kill shot. He gave the guy a chance. The guy <laughs> screwed that up. That's all, you know, that's on him. He did spare the guy, which is showing some character growth and it's just so well written. This was so excellent. They combined the action sequences. Like there was not a lot of time. There was just enough time to breathe to give us really good exposition. And like I mentioned, the expo makes sense. You know, Martin has a experience he was able to be like yeah this doesn't seem like your day-to-day -day gadget this is someone that knows what he's doing and then how they reveal that he was also part of the special forces because of that tattoo by yeah. linking that tattoo to that specific thing the special forces they tell you so much about martin without mm. having to waste so much time mm. explaining it i would say not just smart script writing but also efficient right this movie is yeah. not that long it's an hour and 40 minutes like just barely an hour and 40 <laughs> minutes and they were able to give us so much lore about these characters by showing us visual language right the family man the loving man then the lonely guy right the mm -hmm. guy that's going through a rough time and then we get some mm -hmm. of their backstories we know that both of them were you know really good at what they're doing in their, in their fields and that's very obvious but seeing their challenges here when it gets personal and how they handle it was depicted in a very realistic way you know especially when you strip them from their power they they're mm -hmm. not these powerful powerful like these 80s icon anymore mm -hmm. right they're human they're yeah. they're a dad and a, and, and a guy that cares for this dude right a co-worker that doesn't want to see his friend lose a, a family member and they humanize them so much that that almost like that immortal iconic thing that we have going on it gets stripped and then we really fear for our characters here we feel like okay this got serious mm -hmm. this is way over their heads this is you know these guys have so many resources are they going to be able to beat the bad guys in this and just using their brains man because they're not you know this is not the type of movie where they go and get like a bunch of backup it's just them too so just them too using their brains and, and taking those opportunities to get the best out of the bad guys and they're able to do it it was done so well man we also another aspect of this that i really enjoyed was the cinematography and the oh, editing yes. the way that it was paced and the way that they had they had fun they had fun with some of the shots the way the cameras were tilting and all these other like fun things that they did tracking shots a lot of handheld especially in the final uh fight sequence i love loved how that was shot. I loved how it was lit. The way they used lighting in this was so smart, especially because, you know, it's Christmas time. So you're going to get a lot of twinkling lights, a lot of reds. And I love that they took something that usually is associated with something very joyous. And they knew how to also in certain scenes make it more sinister. Yeah. Right. It was so creative. And it's so funny because when I watch this movie, it's like the grandfather of so many techniques that you and I love in yeah. movies nowadays. Where I'm like, oh, that's where they got it from like that's one of the greatest aspects of watching movies from the 80s and the 90s is that 
we get to see how it all kind of started. And I think it's so important to pay homage to that. Yeah, there, there are techniques and there's an artistry to it too. I feel like when you watch something like this, right, we as people that are in love with filmmaking that hopefully, mm -hmm. you know, one day we can get our own film out there to mm -hmm. the world. This is, you know, also a reason for this entire channel really is mm -hmm. to watch these movies Obviously, we have a lot to catch up to, <laughs> but watching this mo these movies and understanding why it worked, because it's not mm -hmm. the same to just watch it now and see it work. You need to see what was the context, right, of, and, and how mm -hmm. it was utilized in the first place to kind of understand why a movie works so well. Hearing so much about this this film uh, since we did Die Hard in the mm -hmm. past few weeks, I get it, man. Excellent movie. Yeah. The techniques, like you mentioned, I have one tilt in mind when they were doing the fight sequence in the yeah. ground. There's a moment where, you know, Martin gets pushed back and the camera mm -hmm. kind of tilts back and then he gets back up almost immediately and it, it switches again. back. I was like, dude, <laughs> that is so much fun. Yeah, it's so much fun because I feel like if you learn cinematography by the books, it's really easy to fall in the trap of I need to do ABC to get the result that I want. Right. Mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes it's fun to just play jazz, man, like feel up the scene yeah. and just get creative. It's still filmmaking. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's still supposed to be fun. It's yeah. an action film and it's an art form. So I like when they explore the artistry as well. You know, when you can go ahead and be a bit more creative, that's something that mm -hmm. I think some movies nowadays do lack. Some don't, you know, I do I appreciate the cinematography in today's movies. A lot of modern movies yeah. have a lot of stuff that I enjoy. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, but I love to see when they used to get creative back in the eighties and when they came up with certain techniques that work so well till this day, you know, mm -hmm. and I wish there was more of that utilizing mm -hmm. new things, which, you know, they are, but it's really difficult when so many movies before these ones have done it in the first place, the techniques are done. You're you're going to ha just have to find a creative way to implement them in a creative way now. Like yeah. Give it a new context, give it a new meaning and show us something that we haven't seen before through the visual storytelling, right? Yeah, it's it's also interesting because we talk about this a lot. A lot of the stories that are told that we, you want to tell have already been told and have already been told in some fantastic ways already. Yeah. The thing is like, so it's not just about the story you're telling. And now what we have to do is fine tuning it. It's not about the story that you've probably heard a million and one times but it's about how you're delivering the story how you're telling the story i am not really the kind of person that's going to be like oh you know back in my day like they used to make movies better i think art is something that evolves art is something that changes our preferences our tastes also evolve and change and i think there's a lot to be learned a lot of the creative force in the 80s was also driven by the fact that they didn't have the technology to do the things that they wanted to do and so they ended up getting creative it's we've seen it with the thing we've seen it with total recall we've seen it with so many movies where you know you see the practical effects same with alien or aliens where there's an effort and craftsmanship rather than okay this is the budget that we have make sure this movie is ready by this date for release yeah, I agree. a lot of things nowadays and i'm not pointing any fingers it is a common trend where a lot of things a lot of movies nowadays feel very formulaic i feel like when i watch a movie from the 80s i have a harder time estimating where it's going to go. Yeah. It feels unpredictable. Less yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It feels less paint by numbers yeah. than it does nowadays. Like nowadays it's like, oh yeah, this is going to happen. And then it happens. And it, it doesn't take away from the joy necessarily, but it just, it reminds me of the thrill I used to experience as a child when I used to go to the movies and be like, oh dude, this is so cool. You know, they used to take way more risks. And yeah. I feel like, you know, we're starting to see some of that with more independent studios. You know, you have studios like A24 Facts. fucking killing it out there. Mm -hmm. Those guys are freaking amazing. And the yeah. scripts that they choose to develop are amazing. So I'm yeah. Hoping that the rest of Hollywood eventually comes to terms with, okay, this is not working anymore. <laughs> this year was horrible for them. You know, there yes. was a big, big loss of them. And we had the strikes and all that going on. You know, I'm hoping that hopefully soon enough they realize, okay, we need to start taking more risks again, more original concepts, not just sequels and reboots and prequels and all this stuff, which I mean, they're great, especially for you guys who grew up with these movies and that you've watched already Lethal Weapon and one and yeah. two and three and four. And, you know, fine. If they want to do a sequel to that, awesome. Of course, we're game for that. Mm -hmm. But don't make, you know a spinoff of something just because it worked like come up with new things man there's yeah. so many more ideas and like denise said there's it's all about the packaging now mm -hmm. we as writers it's it's our responsibility to figure out how the hell to package something new for you guys to enjoy <laughs> and that's the tough part i feel like yeah. the cool stuff i mean you know i'm the type of person that's like when you're writing a story, just have fun, man. If it's yeah. a fun story, people are going to be engaged. If you if it comes from the heart, and I know it sounds corny as hell, but if it really means a lot to you, people feel that. If you're just trying to bullshit your way through the movie and just give me a formulaic, very simple ABC story, we've seen that before, done way better, as we can see. So it's not about that. It's about, you know, telling an, an honest story. And I feel like, you know, 
people in the 80s, they had that, they were pioneers in that sense. They had that freedom and whether that was because of budgetary restrictions, right? Because they didn't have the money for it or because they were just badass and they were just taking risks. <laughs> like it's not just movies, like the music in the 80s was great too, you know? And like we see oh, all these things. yeah. So yeah, yeah it, it's an interesting uh, conversation indeed. This movie was, it really exceeded my expectations. I really, really enjoyed it. Loving, again, another one that I get to add to the list to 80s movies that I've loved. Guys, thank you so much for watching this with <laughs> us. We hope that you enjoy. Happy holidays. We hope that you guys have a great time with your family and friends. And as always, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. See ya.